Okay, let's go back and show people this uh, completed thing that we found. We'll start with the Tulane University guy. Hey, buddy, do you know anything about this? Can you tell me anything about this? Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. Mind if I copy this? Be my guest. Great. I'll be right back. Well, that's interesting. Here you go. You know, this is a fascinating veve. You must tell me all about its origin. Actually, I was hoping you'd tell me. Can you figure out anything about it from the symbols? Well, some. That's why I wanted a copy. I want to research the design myself. Have you heard of the voodoo murders? No. You're kidding. Really? Then the voodoo is authentic. Aha! The newspapers are wrong. Boy, are they wrong. You think this uh, veve is authentic? Authentic? Mr. Knight, that's like asking if the Mona Lisa is a painting. Tell you what. I'll look into these symbols myself and see what I can learn about the sect that made this. I'll give you a call when I have more information. Uh, you are associated with the police, aren't you? Absolutely. Uh, but I'm undercover. You can contact me at St. George's Bookshop in the quarter. All right. Now, I'd like to get started on this, if you don't mind. Fantastic. Okay, so that really helps out. Can you tell me anything about this? No. Okay, nothing about the phone book. What do we do with this phone message here? Somewhere there's a Norland's phone book missing one of its C pages. Yeah, but how do we go around and find this woman? Okay, so he says they are authentic, which basically says everyone's been lying to us. That's interesting. Let's go back to the uh, drugstore here. Hi. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We got to see about we talking to the, uh, the other guy. Should go back do that eventually. Can I ask you just... Pfft. Nothing here. Let's show him the, uh, completed thing. Do you recognize this pattern? Don't look familiar at all, monsieur. He's lying. It's gotta be lying. One of these two people have to be lying. Either Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. Either Dr. John is lying to us or the other guy is lying to us, but someone is definitely lying to us. Does this pattern look familiar to you? Where did you get that? You do recognize it then? I have never seen it before in my life. Are you sure about this pattern? I am sure, Mr. Knight. Okay, so my doubts are starting to increase on Dr. John now. I thought he was a real cool guy, but, and Willie was the bad guy. But Willie may just be in too deep, and this guy may actually be a lot more nefarious than we Can thought. Can I ask you some more questions? Of course. I also find our dialogue stimulating. I hope not, because like I said, I like Dr. John. Nothing new. Well, Kiff. And where else do we need to go? We went to those two places. We could go to the police station. We could go to St. George Books. Hello. The excitement of seeing you is killing me. They wouldn't come by with like a lot of money by the anyway. Like maybe $120. That we need to uh, get the mask. Gabriel checks the drawer again. Just in case life as we know it changed significantly since he last looked. I guess not. Gabriel doesn't want to take that with him. Gabriel does Really? We can't take money? It's disappointing. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Bunch of new stuff here? Does the name Ogun Badagree mean anything to you? Ugh, no. Makes my skin crawl, though. Have you ever heard of Dambala? No, sorry. Do you know anything about Veves? Not a clue. Sorry. 
ritual patterns used in voodoo. Fascinating. I can't help you out, though. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? Ugh, now what are you getting yourself into? <laughs> Nothing you need to know about. Do you? I know there are dark forms of any major religion. Where there's a yin, there's a yang. Speaking of yin and yang... But no, I don't know anything really about voodoo, dark or otherwise, sorry. Are you sure you don't know anything about black voodoo? You are desperate. I told you I can't help you. Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? Research this pattern. I have a pattern I need you to research. How interesting. What is it? It's a reconstruction of the tracings they found around the murder victims. The ones done in flower and blood. Yuck. You shouldn't carry this kind of thing around. Who knows what these symbols mean? Well, wear your evil banishing gloves if you want, but check it out for me, would you? I'll see what I can find out. Thanks, Grace. Anything else? Nope, can't think of anything. And nothing else? Okay. Where to? Somewhere there's a Norlands phone book missing one of its C pages. Okay, so in order to find this Kavanaugh person, we have to find an address for her. But all we have is a phone book. Uh, ha 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 ha. Hello, beautiful. Something tells the me excitement. we should probably uh, call using this, using these numbers, right? Phone. Gabriel would rather use the phone in his studio for privacy. Oh, right. I remember that phone, the one you had to put in the numbers by hand. Yes, uh, that was in. That was something that stopped me on day one. It's like, how are you supposed to call someone when, you know, you don't know the numbers? Uh... Can we use the phone list with the phone? Yes, we can. Uh... Um, ha 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 okay. So we're looking at Casino, right? And there's four Casinos, so we should probably call all four of these numbers. Uh, just for fun, let's call someone else. Five, 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 zero, one, three, zero. The number you have dialed has been disconnected. Please hang up and try your call again. I wonder if it's like that for everyone. The number you have please hang. Okay, so it's probably like that for everyone. That's not the Casinos. Let's try Casino B five 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 zero one two. Stupid Ah Zero One Two Seven. There we go. Hello. Is this the Casino resident? Yes. What can I do for you? Do you or does anyone in your family patronize the Dixieland drugstore? I'm a busy man. What are you selling? Nothing. Good. Goodbye. Okay, so that was a man. And we're looking for an old woman. Five five zero one two two. Hi, Casino residents. Hi. I was wondering if you could help me. Yeah? A woman in the Dixieland drugstore dropped her purse today, and the name Casino was inside it. Dixieland drugstore? Never heard of it. Sorry. Okay, she didn't sound like an old woman, though. Five, 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 zero, one, two, eight. Hello? Hello, I'm calling from the Dixieland drugstore. We have an order for you. Oh, be quiet. Who is this? 
I'm a friend of the owner. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. She sounded like she was older. And there was a dog. And there's a giant picture of a dog over here. Let's try this last number first before we do anything else. Casino residence, may I help you? Hi. You've won a customer raffle at the Dixieland drugstore. No soliciting, please. Okay, so let's call the... I mean, they, they have the dog picture here for a reason, right? Specialized in canine care. 5550170. Cage and Creators Animal Clinic. This is Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Do you know anything about snakes? Our doctors see just about any type of animals, but we don't get many snakes. Okay, thanks. Know anything about animal sacrifice? What are you, some kind of sicko? <laughs> Uh, I don't blame her one bit. I do not blame her. Cajun Critters Animal Clinic. This is Melissa. Do you have a Madame Casano as a client? Madame Casano? Sure, I know her. She's not here right now, though. Really? Hmm. She told me she'd be there. Would you happen to have her address by any chance? Uh, yes, but I'm not sure I should give it out. Who are you again? I'm worried about Castro. Yeah, this is like the specific thing. These are just, this is something we learned from the phone call. I'm worried about Castro. He's missed three dance lessons. Castro, her little doggy? Oh, he's so sweet. Well, I guess if you know Castro, it's okay. Her address is 345 Dauphine. Thanks. Excellent. Aha, we have an address now, hopefully. Stalking 101. <laughs> oh, that's... That's... <laughs> that's an achievement for you. Oh, look. Casino residence. Three, four, five. Here it is. Hello? Anyone in here? Yes? Who is it? <laughs> Land Shark. <laughs> Land Shark. You are no Bill Murray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Yes? Who is it? Uh, pet supply salesman. I've got some great pet supplies. Uh, coochie coochie coo, little doggy. Castro has everything he needs. Don't you, Castro? <laughs> Aww. Thanks a lot, Castro. <laughs> yes? Uh, magazine subscriptions. I have some fine magazine subscriptions for sale. I am sorry, I am not interested. Okay, let's go ahead and ask her about Voodoo. You know what? Nah. Right, let's yeah. exhaust all the options first. Please let me talk to you, Madam Casano. I do not talk to strangers, young man. Okay. Let's ask her about Voodoo. Hi, I'm doing an article on Voodoo, and I heard that you are... I'm a good Catholic young man. Take your evil influence elsewhere. But I just have a few questions. I can feel the evil eye. Go away. Huh. Okay. That's weird. Yes? Hi, I'm doing an article on voodoo. And so I this heard one that stays. You are I told you no. This house is under the protection of the saints. Now, go away! Okay. Yes? Wrong house. Fine. Okay, she says it's under the protection of the saints, and she says she's a good Catholic woman. Uh, so if we need to get into her house... 
Okay, um, in order to get into Getty's house, we need to act like a police officer. In order to get into her house, I need to... Okay, just... Well, I had a major sneezing fit there, and... Yeah, you don't want to hear that. So, here's what I was thinking. In the previous day, in order to get into Getty's house, we had to use the badge to impersonate a police officer. Today, we found a Catholic priest caller. And I'm thinking what we need to do is we need to pretend to be a Catholic priest. The only thing is, the previous day... Yes? The previous Long day... House. Never mind. Fine, good day. We could show the badge to the butler. We can't do that here, so let's use this on can't ourselves. Can't say I've ever seen a priest in a t-shirt. I'll need something else to make this stay on. Need something else. What about a black shirt? This black shirt won't get me into Madame Casanova's by itself. I'll have to dress it up a little. Oh, we need to combine the items, don't we? It's like the first time this game we've had to do that. So combine this with... Aha! Our shirt. Look at that. Gabriel is carrying a black shirt and priest collar, which, surprise, surprise, does not belong to him. That's cool. Now we use it on ourselves? This disguise is almost ready. I hate to say it, but I need to style my hair to be more... <sighs> respectable. Well, we have hair gel, don't we? Hair gel. I don't think hair gel alone is... Combine this with this? There we go. Priest disguise. It looks like my priest outfit is complete. All right, but this is private. <laughs> oh, look at that. What in the world? Oh, wow. That's... What happened to your hair, man? It's like all disappeared. Yes? Who is it? It's Father McLaughlin to see you. Father McLaughlin, you say? Hmm. You must be new in the parish. I'm so pleased to meet you, Father. Do come in. Thank you, my child. Oh, this is a new low. Pretending to Please be a priest. Please be seated, Father. But then again, it worked Thank for you. a it worked for a Sam and Dean Winchester. Now, what so. can I do for you? Wow, oh, this place is cool. Look at the fires. Look at the effects of the smoke coming off. That looks so neat. Let's go ahead and look around, shall we? Painting. It's a painting of a pretty young lady in old-fashioned clothes. I don't mind using this space bar anymore as much as I used to because all it does is just highlight points of interest. It's not like it actually tells you how to do anything. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to look at our journal. I said I was going to start with this, didn't I? Okay, well... We'll be back to that. Let's look at this, though. Uh, her in house interior. Shono the 20th year anniversary edition. Oh, look at that. She's got this, like, little gold bracelet in her dog. Does look like it's... Oh, the candles have changed a lot down here. Huh. Okay, let's see here. Let's look around. Chair? The upholstered chair is less comfortable than it looks. The Madonna? The painting behind the couch is a Madonna and child. Madame's parlor is full of carefully dusted and polished relics of her past. It's a large antique cabinet. It's probably worth something. We don't want to interact with anything because that would be kind of weird. The plant looks healthy, despite Gabriel's vague impression that Castro makes great use of it. <laughs> An old table lamp with a fringe shade gives off what little light there is in the parlor. Oh, light, we have candles. Madam seems to like candles. Gabriel wonders if these two are specialties of Mr. Walker's shop. Rosary. Madam finds comfort in these iconic images, it seems. A low wooden coffee table sits in front of the sofa. There's an old-fashioned jewelry box on the coffee table. 
The tea service has been polished recently. Madame uses it with her Creole sisters, perhaps. The sofa is velvet, and it is wearing nearly as much of Madame Casano's face powder as Madame is herself. <laughs> Castro, cute as a flea on a piece of fruit. Ah. Madame Casano looks fragile and pale under a thick layer of face powder. If Gabriel's not mistaken, she's a sly shot of a loaf. <laughs> Let's say hi to the pup. Nice doggy. Good Castro. Okay, let's greet Madame. Do you Cousinard. mind if I ask you a few questions, my child? Of course not, mon père. So weird looking. Oh, man. It's so nice of you to invite me in. But no, mon père. I am always happy to see one of the good fathers. Do you find the weather to your liking? It's terribly humid. I only go out in the morning and the evening. What a delightful little dog you have. Ah, yes. Castro is my boon companion. Aren't you a member of the Creole Grand Arms? Why, yes. We do much charitable work in the community, you know. Have you been attending Mass regularly, my child? Oh, yes, Father. I attend Mass every morning. Many don't these days, you know. You are dedicated, madam. Tell me about yourself. Me? I am Creole. My family has been in New Orleans for over 200 years. Real New Orleanians are French, you see. These days, the city is overrun with people with no heritage at all. No offense, Father, but it's true. But the French Nachement will always be the true blood of New Orleans. Tell me about yourself. Well, Fazer, I don't know what else to say. Okay, ah, uh, new stuff. Let's talk about voodoo. What can you tell me about voodoo? People think I'm just a foolish old woman, but I know the things they do. My family's been in New Orleans since 1750, so I know more than most. Voodoo people are all over the city, in the shops, everywhere. They'll curse you like that, and most people don't even notice. Spit on your bread at the bakery. Take strands of your hair at the store when you try on clothes. Oh, you have to be so careful. But I know their ways, so I can protect myself. I know how to use the magic too, and I can counteract their evil spells. Oh, interesting. Seems like you know quite a bit. Tell me more about voodoo in New Orleans. It's just plain evil. It's dangerous to even discuss it. Okay. What do you know of the voodoo murders? What do you know about the voodoo murders? Voodoo murders? Ha! They are nothing new to me, Fazia. They happen all the time. I hardly go out anymore. It's too dangerous in the streets. They can get you anywhere, you know. Even here, in this room. But I try not to let them know about me. That's the best way. What else do you know about the voodoo murders? Shh! They'll hear you. Wow, that's... She's super suspicious, isn't she? What about New Orleans? What can you tell me about New Orleans? The only true New Orleans are of French origin, you know? My family were among the original settlers of New Orleans. They came here from France. The Creole Society used to be so gay in New Orleans. Now it barely hangs on by its fingernails. You know what's interesting is he didn't say Nolans. He said New Orleans because he's got this uh, Celtic accent that he's putting on. So he's trying to pretend like he's not, you know, from here, which is very interesting and very clever. That's like one of the little tiny story points that doesn't seem significant, but it shows that they actually paid attention to the detail when creating the story. Do you know anything about snakes? Snakes? They're evil creatures. Did you know that evil people can send them into your dreams? They can. That's why I never sleep. Right, thanks. Yeah, we've, uh, we've had a few dreams about snakes. Do you it would be bad luck to talk about that anymore. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? 
Oh, St. John's Eve, Merwi. I used to love the St. John's Eve Mass at St. Louis Cathedral. Of course, it is also a night of great wickedness, worse than All Hallows' Eve. They will corrupt anything, Father. They? They who? Oh, you know. Hey, she's talking about the voodoo people. What else? Can I don't think I should say any more about that. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Oh, hair. I could tell you about hair. Voodoo queen? Ah! My great-grandmother was an acolyte of Marie Laveau. She knows the truth about her. What else? No, no, I won't say anything more. Not to you, Father. I'm sure you mean well, but you are an outsider. Okay. Tell me more about Marie Laveau. No, no, I... So maybe there's something else that we had to do to trigger that. Do you know anything about animal masks? No, Father. I don't know anything about that. What about Veves? Do you know anything about Veves? No, Fazia. Eh? Do you know anything about black voodoo? Oh, yes, Fazia. It is the wickedest kind. The kind they practice here in New Orleans. Have you ever heard of Dambala? No, Fazia. A lot of things where she just says no. Does the name Ogun Badagri mean anything to you? No, Fazia. There's a lot of things that she says no to. Do you have any idea what Capri San Carl means? Maybe. I know. I bet you do not know, Fazer, Nespa. Don't eat the chili. That's too bad. Don't you know what it means? Go without horns. Let's say go without horns, because that's very specific. And maybe that will endear us to her that we know a little bit more about the subject than she's willing to let on. It means goat without horns. Fazer, you surprised me. You do know what it means. You know what they mean by goat without horns, don't you? A human being. That's right. Slit your throat, cut out your heart. Pure evil murder. Do you know anything about human sacrifice here in New Orleans? Well, my great grandmother could tell stories. She saw it. People say that sort of thing wasn't done in New Orleans. But the real voodoo queens did it. Oh, yes. Real voodoo queens? Who were the real voodoo queens? Well, my great grandmother told me that Laveau was just a one, a flamboyant decoy. Oh, really? She distracted authorities from the real voodoo queen of New Orleans. It's been the same one for almost 200 years. She's head of a secret voodoo enfant. That's what they call their temples, you know. It's so secret, most of the voodoo people in the city don't even know about it. The real voodoo queen controlled Lavo, gave her a little bit of power, and used her like a puppet. Interesting. That's very interesting. Voodoo hound for? Tell me more about this secret voodoo hound for. Well, I've never seen it. I wouldn't go near it if you bade me. But it's here in New Orleans, I guarantee it. I hear their drums at night, oh yes. That's why I'm so ill, I tell you, those drums. But we shouldn't talk about it. They'll hear us. It's the devil's work that happens there, I can tell you. I'll show you something, something secret. Ooh, you yes. mustn't tell anyone, Father. Sure. I swear on my collar. Which means nothing to Here me. Here it is, mon père. A true object of evil if ever there was one. Thought she was going to give me a dagger. something, all right. It belonged to my great grandmother. She told my mother that it was a token to gain entrance to the real voodoo ceremonies. Ooh. You don't say. To tell you the truth, I've always felt nervous about having it in the house. You know, evil influence and all. Oh, I can take it I from you. I can see how you would, yes. And yet, I could never part with it. It's been in the family for generations. Would you bless it for me, Father? I feel strange asking such a thing of you, but surely you understand. Bless this bracelet of a snake. Even though its vibes aren't great, let it do nobody harm. When they wear it on their arm, voodoo spirits, go away. Don't come back another day. <laughs> and now let us pray. 
Oh, that's the hardest blessing I've ever seen in my life. It's a bracelet in the shape of a snake. I can do something with this. There's no point in using that on the bracelet. Maybe we swap it out for a different bracelet that looks like it? Uh, I don't... Sketchbook? There's no point in you... Go to code. There's no... Uh, reconstruct a baby. There's no... Um, magnifying glass? <clears throat> I think that's enough, Father. Oh, right. Here you go. Yeah, I get the feeling like we're supposed to swap that out with a fake bracelet somehow. Can I see that snake bracelet? Oh, hi. Yeah, so we need some sort of fake. Because we have to Just steal it. Bracelet. And I don't think we have Press anything this in inventory. Bracelet have, even though it let it do when they wear it on their arm. Voodoo spirits, go away. Don't come back another day. And now let It's a bracelet. Yeah, we need to palm it somehow. We tried using the sketchbook on it, right? There's no There's no I, I can't see what to do with this. At the moment, at least. Maybe if we go to the curio shop, maybe the maybe he has something that looks like that. Tell me, ma. She was only a front for the really. Okay, so she was only front, so she just basically finished off her story. Okay, let's see if uh da, 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 some things not on Castro. Don't mean to on Castro. Ah, come back. Does this mean anything to you? No, father, it does not. Okay. Voodoo uh, code. Does this mean anything to you? No, father. Nothing there. What else? Sketchbook? Does this mean any? No. Does not? Anything else that we think? Flyer? Probably not, because that just tells us what Moonbeam is. What about the snake scale? Does this mean anything to you? No, father. That doesn't look like a snake scale, Gabriel. <laughs> Murder photo. Madame Casano is paranoid and fearful enough without showing her that graphic photograph. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I understand. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. Good Thank day, you. Madame Casano. Goodbye, father. So we need to come back here once we have a fake bracelet is my theory. So what else do we need to do today? Let's go back to the drugstore and to the, um, the museum. Uh, mm -hmm. I think there was something that we want to show. What was it? Was it this one or this one? I think we already showed him those. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we already showed him those. Let's just talk to him. Can I ask you to... Who to hunt for? Do you know anything about a secret voodoo houndfall? <laughs> There's no such thing. Not around here. Yeah, of course you would say that. Let's go talk to Dr. John. And the only thing I can think of that we haven't done yet is maybe there's somebody else in the cemetery, but we met Kade there and we can't go into our tomb. There's some with the casino that we could probably get the necklace, but we don't have a duplicate. And in this Jackson Square, there was that, um, that fortune teller woman. She's the only one that we weren't able to do anything with. So let me go back to the Muta Museum and then we'll go back to her and we'll try to see if we can do something with her. Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. Talk. I don't think there's anything new that we can show him. Could I ask you some more questions? Of course. I also find our dialogue stimulating. Voodoo Hound for? Do you know anything about a secret voodoo houndfall? Don't be ridiculous, Mr. Knight. The voodoo churches in the city have no need for secrecy. Okay. 
Nothing new. Let's go back to the shrine. Let's double check it, shall we? The voodoo shrine is filled with items that both fascinate Gabriel and also make his skin crawl. So anything we can do with the coffin? No. Anything else here? Put it all black candle. They lend a certain psychotic ambiance, no? Hmm. Okay, let's go to the Jackson Square. And we'll see if we can do anything with that woman because she's the only other thing I can think of that we haven't actually done today. She's not in her booth. Is that a graphical bug? I'm looking, I'm looking. Thanks, boy. Gabriel leers at the dancer, but she seems to want a more overt demonstration of his appreciation. Oh, were we supposed to clap? Oh, wait. She was belly dancing and we missed it. Ah, and then she put the snake on. Okay, so what if we... What if we leave and come back? Can we get her doing that again? No, she's back in a boot. Huh. So how do we get her dancing again? Because she wanted something that was more overt. Like an applause, possibly. Uh, go sit down, possibly? Wait, she's getting up. She's getting up. Come on, boys. Hoopla. Oh, now she's actually dancing. Ah, there we go. So... And? Not a bad idea. Mmm, <whistles> baby, I love the way you move. Madam Lorelei winks knowingly at Gabriel and twitches her hips. Yep, she wants me. <laughs> Thought she had a love already. Getty. I can't do anything. She dropped Thanks, her scarf. Boys. We got points. She dropped her veil. The veil belongs to the fortune teller. It's covered with shiny, iridescent sequins. Maybe we have to give this back to her? Be a gentleman, you know? She did say she did for intimate friends. I think this veil belongs to you. Oh, my veil. I'm always losing those things. You have no idea. Well, darling, you're such a sweetie to return a lady's delicates and, and so handsome as well. Well, I... And since you have such a clear interest in fortune telling, let me see your hands. They look so strong. Perhaps they will make both our fortunes clear, no? I wish something would. Mmm, strong, yes, and yet so delicate and flexible. Mm. You don't know the half of it. Oh, good. I see a mysterious woman in your immediate future. Ooh, Madame he likes that. Lorelei winks at Gabe. Oh, she meant to herself. <laughs> she is a dangerous one, dark and beautiful. Oh, I see the road of your life forking, and very soon. The blood drains from Madame Lorelei's face in an instant. Sweat beads on her upper lip. Wait, what? Are you okay? There are forces. Oh, Whoa. God. Beware. Beware. Whoa. What is it about me lately? Okay, that was just a little bit freaky. Okay, a lot of it freaky. Achievement unlocked. Fortune Sun. Knocked over the chair. Huh. Okay. Well. Don't see anything else. Oh, maybe we can search the booth. Is there anything back here? 
Madame Lorelei's booth is deserted. Maybe she kept some money underneath or something. Gabriel wouldn't mind picking up a few extra bucks by using Madame Lorelei's booth while she's gone. But he doesn't know how to belly dance. <laughs> I guess not. Okay, well, we did something with the fortune teller. Let's go ahead and head out. And... Day's not over, but I don't know what else to do. Maybe she came back. Hi, did you come back? Uh, take that as a no. You did not come back. Nope, she did not come back. Okay. I don't see anything else here. We already talked to the artist. The horse we've examined. We examined the fences. Nothing in the Cajun booth. Nothing in the booth. Nothing in the flowers. She did run off to the cathedral. Right? We saw her go this way. So maybe she went in a confessional. Someone is in. Actually, didn't mean to go in the confessional. I meant to go in the uh, the priest's booth. Maybe she ran in here. I mean, we had to talk to her. The priest side of the conf. Gabriel's calling is the huh. the mesh window. Gabriel's call. Okay. I am. I don't see her anywhere. Yeah, she just ran off. Head back to the bookstore, possibly? Hello, beautiful. It's me. The excitement of seeing you is killing me. Do you have anything new for me? Got a minute? What's up? Do you know anything about a secret voodoo houndfall? In New Orleans? I think so. No, I don't, but it sounds dangerous. You're not going to try to find this voodoo group yourself, are you? Would I do that? Okay, I'm not sure what else to do here. Oh wait, what if we go to the um the curio shop and look for a bracelet? Hi. <laughs> but we don't have any money. Can I ask you just a few more? <laughs> No, we can't get a bracelet from him. What if we go to Dr. John and ask Dr. John about that bracelet? Hello, Doc. Could I ask you? Of course. Now they're from Dr. John. Okay, I have a feeling I am stuck. I don't know where to go. We've been to all the places. Maybe back to the Getty Mansion? Maybe she's home now? I told you, Ms. Getty is out. She's not home. Let's go to Lake Poncha Train. I don't see anything here either. Okay, I'm gonna go wander around a bit and try to figure out what it is we're missing because we seem to be missing something. I just, I just don't know where, but we've wandered around everywhere. I guess we go back to the police station I mean, not much else to do. So I bundled around for a while and I couldn't find anything. 
So I went online to try to figure out what it is I missed in this day, and I only looked at. Bless this bracelet of a snake. Even though I only looked at this information, don't come and I didn't want to look ahead because I don't want to be spoiled. Um, but apparently, you have to use the clay on the snake bracelet. Gabriel has a thought about the clay. Now would have never figured this out. Bless this circlet of silver. I would have never figured take this out. Take the curse. Oh, take it, Wilbur. A lovely blessing, mon père. Yes, I think it made a lasting impression. Here you go. I feel so much better now. And apparently there was something that we missed uh, with the snake lady. We were supposed to do something with her veil and the snake scale we had. But, yeah, we missed it. Oh, well. Good day, man. Goodbye. Considering she's gone, it's not like we're going to be able to do anything with it now. And she didn't drop anything, so... It's getting late. Gabriel decides to go home for the day. So that was the one thing we missed, is the molding of the clay. Achievement unlocked. Tempting day three. Oh, hello. Excuse me. I'm going inside. Oh? I'm afraid St. George's is closed for the day. I'm not a customer. I'm here to see the owner. Why don't you just leave your name and number with me, Grace, and I'll tell him you stopped by. Grace, let her in. Listen, if Gabriel is here, he'll want to see me. Is he? Here? I really couldn't say for certain, but in the morning... Gracie, say goodnight. <laughs> <laughs> you came. I didn't think you would. I didn't think I would either. Your eyes. Mmm. Uh, I, I could show you around a little. It's, it's not much, but... Uh... Please don't. I couldn't focus on much of anything right now. Yeah, no. God, what is it about you? It's like a dream Just state. Shut up Everything's and kiss vibrating. Me. Whoa! Wasn't expecting that. Day four. I spoke to the one who smelled of death. He gave to me his ears. And crosses that were marked were made into a veil of tears. She spent the night with us. Did you sleep well? Did you have bad dreams still? Did you sleep at all? You're not speaking to me this morning? Don't be silly. I just have nothing to say. Have it your way. Have you noticed this guy outside the shop? Yeah, he gives me the creeps. I wish he'd go away. I didn't even notice him until he did said something. Did you find out anything about that pattern I gave you? Yeah, I did find something. I checked the microfiche at the public library. I found an article about a murder in 1810. The newspaper published part of a pattern found around the body. It looks damn close. Why, wow, you're, you're amazing, incredible. All that work. Forget it. Sweet, okay, well, I'm the footless bird, and this is your story-based gaming channel. So on day three, that was day three, right? Well, on the previous day, uh, the game won against us because it was something that we couldn't figure out. Um, but, you know, I have no problem with saying that, hey, I couldn't figure this out and I needed help. So I'll just tell you, I couldn't figure that out. I need help, but we're gonna continue the story. 
Uh, we're going to see that a lot in adventure games where you we're going to wander around a little bit. And I'm going to get to the point where I'm just going to be like, I have no idea how to progress this game at this point. And thankfully, we have the internet that can help us out. That guy is really creepy, by the way. He's just staring at us. Uh, tomorrow, or today, in this episode, in this day, uh, we're going to check the newspaper. We're going to find out what's up with this guy. And I believe the Overlook is now open, so we can go there and hopefully, you know, get to the bottom of these voodoo murders. And hey, you know, Gabriel had a pretty good night last night. So, you know, things are looking up for him. But the fortune teller did say things are about to get very dark very quickly. So we'll have to wait and see to see if Gabriel can avoid the darkness that is coming. Until then, take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.